Now we're going to look at where to find all these parts and pieces on the internet. Now, you don't necessarily have to go to the internet for all these things, right? Like, I'm in uh, the Puget Sound area of the Pacific Northwest, and we have places that just sell, like, colored acrylic. <laughs> we have places that sell us, like, the switches and Arduinos. We have all that stuff laying around <coughs> in the area. So we have Vetco in Bellevue, and they have a lot of electronics there. We have Tap Plastics in Linwood, Bellevue, Seattle, and they sell acrylic. I don't I don't go to these places typically. They're a little pricey for me. And other places sell the same stuff for cheaper, but we have them locally and you might be able to get a better price locally. Okay, so what we're gonna look at here. So on the huge list of parts we need, one of the big ones is our uh our brains, right? Our Arduino that's gonna run Gerbil. And so there's lots of cool options on Amazon. I'll show you this here. Because there's lots of ways to order that. So Gerbil Shield on Amazon. And it's going to pop up a ton of cool options, right? So, okay, there's the sponsored stuff, whatever. Here we go. So this one, not only does it come with the Arduino, it comes with the Shield. It comes with all the drivers, the high-end drivers, by the way. It comes with the end stops right here that we can modify our brackets to be able to use this type. All right, comes with stepper motors, well, three of them, which we need three of them. Comes with brackets for the stepper motors. We don't need those, whatever. Comes with, like, a usable cable, <laughs> right? It looks, like, long enough, and it's even got a choke on it. That's cool. Perfect for uh, using with Gerbil. Okay, that's way cool. So, you know, $62, it comes with everything. Or here again, $62 Prime comes with everything i've used kumon stuff before i've used long runer it's not runner runer <laughs> so it comes with the exact same stuff it's just this one's prime so that's cool okay all right this one comes with almost everything else just not the separate motors right for 20 bucks <clears throat> and then we have let's see where's our yeah, here we go this is what i usually use because I have everything else, just piles of everything else. And so all I need is the Arduino, right, with an actual, like, big chip here. And it's got the it's got the Atmega 16U4, which is the better, better serial streaming chip. I'm going to verify that these ones up here have that. Oh, yeah, looks like they got that. Cool. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, yep, it's got that little chip. Okay, that's good. The really cheap Arduino boards have a CH340, which doesn't stream as well. Okay, so yeah, lots of different options. Well, that's interesting, okay. So three axis is pretty great for like little 3018 mils, kind of cool. Okay, just doesn't have two Y axes, which we want. On these boards, we can turn this little a axis here this red one into another y axis and so you got you know x y and a here you can turn that a to copy y axis and so that's what we want we wanted to have its own driver too <coughs> okay so that's where to find you know the arduino and shield that's usually where i go is amazon for that same thing with like the power panel the power plug so I guess power plug panel. Type in some keywords. It'll figure it out. Yeah, these guys. So seven fifty nine. That's a decent price for three. Hopefully, you guys are planning for the future, so you're buying like extra stuff for all the new other cool things you'll build. <laughs> and you're not just buying one thing. You're buying a few things and hoarding it like I do. <laughs> okay. So, right, decent price. Here's the, the plug. Uh, I'll probably make some sort of wish list on Amazon for you guys to wander and look at for yourself. Uh, so the little adapter here that just goes from the panel to the Arduino, I'll put that on there. I'll put little JST connectors. 
All my screws are from Amazon. Uh, the slot nuts are for Amazon. Those are a little harder to find. So, M5 slot nut. Okay. Now, actual slot nuts are hard to find. So, these ones are drop-ins. You're going to need some drop-ins also. So, make sure to pick up some of these. 30-pack is actually fine. It's a little pricey for a 30-pack, but whatever. There we go. 100 for the same price. Same price? <laughs> Three cents less for 100. Yeah. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. And these are actual slot nuts. So these are drop-ins. These are slot nuts. So they literally slide along the, the extrusion here. Okay. I still don't like this type. I like the flat type with the punch. The little, oh, there we go. There they are. Okay. So there's a little bit of a difference here. I want to open this in a window and open these in a window. And we're going to talk about the difference here. Now they both work, okay? They'll both work just fine. But these little guys are just like super flat, right? They're a little easier to work with. They're a little easier to slide in. They're a little more forgiving on different types of extrusion, wherever you're getting, getting your extrusion from. These ones... Uh, they're a little easier to grab from the top. So if you have different length screws, different size edges on your on your uh, on your enclosure or on your brackets, the threads come up a little higher and they go a little deeper. So they're a little easier to grab, but they don't fit into every extrusion. So if you get your extrusion from eighty twenty, these will not fit those eighty twenty extrusions. If you're getting your extrusion from a Sumi, it will fit those. Okay, so now we looked at that stuff. Let's go to the next site. So another harder thing to find is the power supply that goes out here. So I guess I'll hide this. Okay. So there's a special power supply that mounts here. Now, if you're doing the single fan configuration, so I go over here and get rid of the filter which will get rid of this bar and this hole, right? Once it builds it, I can mount a power supply back here if I wanted and then run my cables up to this switch. But if you're doing the self, you know, the, the filter built into itself with the exhaust fans, then you're going to have to find the power supply that fits this. Okay, that's a little tough to do. I'll show you how to do it. There's no real point in putting a link because the eBay stuff doesn't always last. So that is an, oh, it shows right there. Okay, 12 volt, eight and a half amp power supply. Okay, you click that, or you type it in, I guess, 8.5A 12V power supply. Okay, so it's got a ton of them here, right? Eight and a half amp, eight and a half amp, but these are all waterproof, bulky things. And then regular power supplies, whatever. We're trying to find the narrow ones. These guys, these guys are the perfect ones. I guess I've been here before. I'm going to open that in a new window and scroll down, see if I can find any more of them. Oh, no, those don't have the skinny ones. Okay, here's another bunch of skinny ones. Here's more. And then maybe one more. Or unless we hit the bottom, then we'll compare prices. Because they're all the same. Okay, here we go. Open this up. Okay, so what we want here is 12 volt, 8.5 amp. Yep, these things right here. So 12 bucks there. Go to the next eBay ad. Our voltage is 12 volts. And our current is 8.5 amps. So 1079, a little cheaper. Free shipping. Shipping, okay, it does have a shipping cost here. Okay, let's go to that first one. Free shipping at 12 bucks. That's cool. Eight and a half amps. So, and a little bit of shipping. And then one more. What do we got here? Eight and a half amps. Ooh, a lot of shipping. So this one's $15, right? Don't want that. We're now comparing it to this. $12, free shipping right 
Okay, what's next here? 1079 plus 259. So what is that? 1350 or so? Yep. Get rid of that. I guess shipping speed also is nice to know, but they all ship from, you know, overseas. It's going to be about a month before you see them. Okay. And this one, what do we got here? So 1279, 1278, I guess. I'll, I'll look at shipping real fast here. So when does it say it'll arrive? There we go. It's between January 29th and Wednesday, February 17th. This one, same exact delivery estimate. Okay, so close this. This is our winner here. What are one of these? Okay. Okay, so that's where to find the power supply. That's a little tougher to do. I've also ordered my uh, steppers off eBay. So make sure you get 84 ounce or better on your steppers, okay? Uh, they just run better. The 72 or the 70... Yeah, the 72 ounce, I'm really not happy with the performance on these lasers and the lower the lower torque NEMAs. So if you're looking up a, uh, a separate motor, 84 Oz NEMA 17. Yeah, here we go. You don't want to pay $13 for them. Probably find them cheaper in bulk. Okay, that's a little cheaper in bulk there. Now, this is what I usually do. I usually find a good separate motor, do the 30 pack, <laughs> and then order it that way. I go through a lot of separate motors, I guess. But the three pack, what do we got for the three pack? Yeah, that's all right. Looks like you still get a better deal on Amazon. I don't even know what size those Amazon ones were. Let's look that up real fast. So I'm going to type in Gerbil Shield again. Okay. And they look like 84. They might be 72s. I don't know. Let's see if it describes them. New 17. Oh, yeah. There they are. 84 ounce. Yep. So that's a great deal. <laughs> All right. That's cool. That's cool that it just comes with those good ones. Nice. All right, so, whoops, I just closed that eBay. Looks like we don't even need it anyways, <laughs> except for the, the power supply. Now we're going to look at AliExpress. So the rails and the lasers are best to get from AliExpress. So on your build here, chances are you selected a Y size and an X size. We're going to have to get rails to match that. And then we're also going to look at some lasers here because that's where I get the lasers also. So you can get it to dual lasers or single lasers. So <coughs> uh, MGN12H. That is the rail we use. And we're going to open some of these up and find some good prices. Okay. So I'll open this one up. Open this one up. Sure, I'll open up three of them and compare prices here. So in our current drawing, let's see, we have two Y rails, right? A Y rail here and a Y rail here, okay? And we have a single X rail. So that means I need two at 350 and one at 450, okay? So they're MGN 12H for the Y rails anyways. If I'm doing a single laser, I'm going to use MGN 12C on the X-Rail, but I'm doing all dual laser here. So MGN 12H at 350, so that's 1539. It'd be times two, or multiplied by two, right? So $30 for my Y-Rails. Let's go to the next one. MGN 12H and 350. There you go. Ooh, better price. Shipping. Oh, shipping on this one. What about this one? Oh, shipping on this one, too. Does it go up? Yeah, it goes up when I increase the quantity. Go up. Okay. So, a little bit better price. Let's see what the last one comes up with. Okay, lots of options. Okay, so we know we're MGN12H. 
We know we're 350. Okay. Now, we can get it from China. That's expensive for it. Russia, that's a little cheaper. Check. That's still expensive. Okay, so this one's just really pricey. But it looks like they do warehouse some things in the U.S. But they don't warehouse what we want. So, close that. Okay. So, we're back down to these two. And this looks like our best price, uh, 1387 versus uh, 1539. It's it's all the same stuff. I haven't seen any real difference between these things. <coughs> all right. So I would order two of these, right? Add to cart. And then for my X-Rail, if I'm doing the dual laser, I'm using MGN 12H at 450. Wherever, there it is. Okay. Or if I'm doing the single laser, I'm using MGN12C. Right? Not much price difference here. So, yeah, I can also order the 12H and decide. Or I can order the 12C and I can order the block. Like if I just want to order that block that goes along the carriage, I can just order that. And that way I can change my mind one day <laughs> if I want. So I can order, you know, everything MGN12H and also order this block in case I want to do a single laser. So if you do single laser, you can run that X a little bit faster, actually quite a bit faster. <laughs> that X axis can really cruise along with less weight. But I don't know. There's not a huge performance difference here. Okay. Anyways, so that's the rail. Next thing we're going to look at is lasers. So I'm close this, close this. Okay. So we're looking for TTL. Uh, I guess laser. Let's see what we come up with. Okay. So we come up with some really <laughs> weird ones. Okay. 40 watt. Yeah, right. That means uh, that the laser is probably putting out 7 watts of power, and that fans, like a 24-watt fan <laughs> or something, probably really loud and vibrating. Comes with cool glasses, though. That's cool. I do like the red glasses. Okay. So, here we go. Here's some lasers. I'm going to open this one up. They look like they're right. They got drivers on the back. Okay. These are a special type of laser. I'm going to make some brackets in another tab here. So if you look at our Thingiverse, it's got tabs on bottom. I'm going to make a tab for, like, extra special things. But these types are a little extra special. Okay. Here's a 500 milliwatt. I'm a big fan of 500 milliwatt lasers. Okay, so lots of different options here. I just I'll show you what to look for and uh, let's let's find one that won't work for this. <laughs> uh Yeah, not seeing many that won't work laser style. Let's see, oh, here we go. This one won't work. Not just the fact that it's low power and green. Okay, here here's another one that won't work and I'll explain why. Okay. So, here's some that'll work, right? So I'm a big fan of the 800 milliwatts. Uh, I've also burned a ton of them out. I haven't burnt out many 500s, but I've burnt out a ton of 800s. So if I <coughs> were choosing what types of lasers to use, I'd have a high power for my cutting and a low power for my engraving. Okay, that's exactly what I did. I have a 5.5 watt on, on the one we're going to be building here for... Uh, cutting and then an 800 milliwatt for engraving now my five and a half watt has an external driver but i can click this here 61 dollars not bad for that five and a half watt to be cutting acrylic and wood okay and then what do we got for these little guys 31 dollars. yeah that's about right for our engraving one 23 dollars. that's even better <laughs> so that's actually a great price for engraving Oh, a big old laser power adjustment. That's neat. Hmm. Okay. These are kind of cool. <laughs> I actually, I'm, I'm going to save this here. I'm going to add this one to cart. Probably order a few of these. Try them out. Okay. 
So here's another one where I guess it comes with things. This one comes with glasses, yeah. And this one comes with power supply, yeah. Okay. So yeah, same thing here where it's got the, the driver back here and then the laser itself. Little thing. Kind of cool. Okay. Now let's go to one of these that won't work. So we're missing something here, right? All we have on this one is a power supply. It says TTL on it. I don't know why it says TTL. But really, you just give it power and it's on. Now, the problem with that is you can't control it, right? You can't pulse. You can't tell it to turn on and off by our controller, by our Arduino. It's literally just on or off. Right? I can see that there's no other connection to the Arduino. There's just power in. So this will not work. And even though it says TTL, I'm not seeing any transistor to transistor logic connections to this. So this will not work. I've ordered from OX lasers before. Uh, their higher power stuff seems to work fine. Their lower power stuff, I burnt out a lot of them. So... That's kind of weird, right? Where the lower power stuff burns out, where the higher power stuff works. So I guess keep that in mind. Uh, but looks like they got a lot of stuff here. Oh, here's one with an external driver. I guess we'll go over that too. Okay. So here we have an external driver. This one's probably pretty low power. Yeah, 150 milliwatt. Not going to be, well, you can engrave with it. I've, I've, gotten markings before on these low powers but certainly not efficient or worth it <coughs> when you can pay what is it two dollars more and get the 500 milliwatt uv diodes so yeah you just connect stuff up to here oh it's a dual driver so it can power green and a red laser give it power give it ttl right or transistor to transistor logic to control from your arduino so this one's ttl and it does not even say it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. So this one also. Let's see. Does it say TTL? Yep. It says TTL. No, it says TT. Oh, the L's over here. <laughs> they just wrapped it all the way over here. That's funny. Okay. But there's no TTL on this. There's no way to. Oh. Well, that's a different picture. So here's this picture. Here's this picture. Okay, so this one, this half watt is just on. Okay. I like the lens here. That's easy to grab. But still, there's no pulsing it on or off. Let's look at the next one. This one is a two and a half watt blue diode, right? That's just a great all-purpose laser, by the way. You can cut black acrylic, eighth-inch black acrylic with this, and you can do really nice engravings. So if you're going to go, go for a single diode, the two-and-a-half-watt blue diodes are great for that. But I can see there's a driver board on this and the connections for TTL. So keep that in mind when you're looking for lasers, okay? Okay. So I'm closing all these out. Okay, looking at this. That's cool. Huh. It's got a little button for focusing, too. That's neat. Okay, anyways. Closing all this. Next thing is our rail, okay? So, if you're looking to get 80-20 stuff, you can get that straight on Amazon or, you know, go to 80-20 website. You're going to have to chop it down. You can also go to Masumi. And they can cut everything for you at the exact size. But it's a little pricey when the, with these short ones. They might be able to actually work a deal with the short ones too, I guess. But I usually order them in 8-foot sections and then cut them down myself. I got a video on that. I think that's video 3 in this whole series. Okay, so here we are at Misumi, right? Under product categories, we're going to go to automation. For some reason, <laughs> for some reason, extrusion makes things automatic. There we go. Aluminum extrusions, aluminum extrusions. Okay. And the first one that pops up. Oh, okay. 
just want to be annoying. Okay, so this is the most popular thing they have. It's a 2020 aluminum extrusion here. Okay, now if you want those angles that I have, so this is under the, the what is it, the 5 Series. Where's our series here? There we go. This is our 5 Series stuff, which is all the 20 millimeter things. Okay, so there's our 2020, the 2040, in case you want them th some thick stuff. Some solid stuff. Uh, we're trying to find the angled stuff. Right here. There we go. There's our angled. So you can 3D print those angled pieces if you want. I like how the 3D prints turned out of those. I did some recently. But if you want to do actual metal, then uh, there you go. You can open these up. And so you open them up similar to how you open up... Uh, these guys. So you open it up, you choose the angle, and then the length, right? So they also have a lot of options. Just do clear anodized. If you want black, you're going to be hearing way more for it. So clear. I usually order them at 2440 millimeters, but you can actually go into your, your drawing here. And okay. See, this is... 690 so i can come in here and actually type in 690 okay go to the right side here and i need three of them and add that to cart and i can do that with all my pieces i can go in pull it on my lengths right and then they can arrive to me you know like at the right length so kind of a cool setup they have it's just i never know what i want i guess they're uh, they're pretty fast too they'll they'll ship it pretty fast this will come in within about a week when you order it like this so i'm is kind of cool like that uh okay so that's stuff to get from misumi right okay the rails and stuff so belts and brack and belts and pulleys and and what's that called? Sprockets are probably from Amazon. Best from Amazon. Uh, power plug, eBay or Amazon, depending on how long you want to wait. Oh, the acrylic here. Very important. <laughs> now, you don't have to use acrylic. You can use, like, wood. You can use birch for the back, right? Like, if you're not really going to enclose it and you don't care about it being see-through or anything, yeah, you can use wood back there. You can even... Like 3D print half it, 3D print the other half, and maybe put like aluminum tape between it <laughs> so the laser doesn't escape. Well, if it's not enclosed, you really don't care, right? Okay. So, I like to use acrylic, and I get all my acrylic from Delvies. Okay? So, Delvies.plastics.com. Great prices. They ship everywhere. They're in Utah. I've visited them before. Nice guys. And they actually have laser cutting options. So you can even, you know, like, oh, whoops. I'm back to show all parts. Hide the lid here. Okay. You can even, you know, right click on this thing, export as DXF, send them that DXF, and they can cut it for you and ship it to you. So if you don't have access to a laser cutter, if you don't have a maker space in your area, then. They can do that for you. So I think that's cool. Okay. So what you do here is all categories. You go to acrylic and then the transparent acrylic sheets. Right. And then they have a ton of colors here. So yellow will stop the UV from coming through and the blue from coming through. Okay. It doesn't stop the UV like perfectly well, but it stops it enough to be safe. I think anyways. The amber, yeah, that stops everything from coming through. So definitely like like stops the laser the it stops the uh the blue light and the UV light from coming through. Red now you're getting hard to see through, but it very much stops things. Okay. Now blue's a cool color. 
but it lets all that light right through. <laughs> right? It doesn't stop a thing. So even though it would be a cool-looking case, it doesn't actually stop things. Okay, so there's that, right? Okay, kind of cool. Then we go to uh, our plexiglass sheets. Here we go. And we go to fluorescence. Okay, so this pink and red fluorescent, or the orange ones, don't stop a thing like you'd think they would, but they don't actually stop anything. What's weird is the green one does. If you're doing the blue diodes, the green fluorescent stops it. It doesn't stop the UV so much for some reason, <laughs> but the blue diodes, it stops that light from coming through. And it's really cool because it actually fluoresces the the acrylic here. So as it fires, you'll see your whole case light up. It's kind of neat, <laughs> kind of fun to watch. But yeah, I go to Delby's. We also have Tap, which is a local supplier. They'll cut stuff down for me too. And you probably have your other local suppliers, you people online. All right. So that's where to get most of the stuff here. The base, the HDPE, I think you can get that at Lowe's or Home Depot. I know you can get it from uh, from plastic suppliers. Let's see, anything else important? The fans, Amazon, or your old computer case, <laughs> right? Uh, the hinges, they're just 2020 hinges, I think. Let's see what comes up. So 2020 hinge. Yep, there they are. Okay. These ones even come with the handles, right? Here's just four hinges. Oh, yeah. Cool. I guess that's the right right keyword. <laughs> all, all sorts of the right stuff. Okay. The purple parts, you're going to have to print. The blue parts, you're going to have to laser cut or print. The green parts, you'll probably have to just laser cut. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? Yeah, the base can be aluminum, steel, HDPE. Pull the sizes out by, you know, clicking the edge. So that's base is 690 by 485. Go to go to your local plastics or metal supplier, get a base, and then I got a video on how to drill the attach holes. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it here. Yeah, 3D print your purple parts. Yeah, that should be where to get everything. I know there's a lot of parts to this, but... Oh, the wire. I guess uh, wire Amazon. Chances are a lot of you guys just have wire laying around. If you want to follow along with my wiring scheme, you're going to need the 10 wires, though. So 10 color. And uh, make sure you use stranded wire. And I use 24 gauge. Don't use solid wire. It's not going to work out well for you. Yeah, here we go. Things like this. You probably just need the 25 kit. Yeah, 25 foot, 10 colors. Yeah, this would be perfect here. Okay, what's the difference? Oh, this one's 100 foot, so good deal. <laughs> this is how I started. I used to buy these kits, and now I just buy 500,000 foot rolls of each color as I run out. But, yeah. Yeah, Remington. Yep, this is where, what I get. Well, the 24. Let's see if we have. Yep, 24 gauge stranded okay very important that you use stranded okay don't use solid so here's solid right here it's not going to work out very well for you it doesn't it doesn't flex so nicely like through drag chain it'll actually break in the drag chain so stranded is your is your friend here and this is a hundred foot version you can get away with a 25 foot that's plenty enough wire to make this thing happen Okay, so that's wire. Yeah. I think that's it here. I think I think once you get all those parts here, then uh then yeah, you're good to go. Uh thanks for watching. I'll put all these links to things in the comments and I'll get a wish list going here real soon. Uh yeah. See you in the next video where we actually start making the thing.